What's up everyone, Natalie Rosella here with what I'm hoping is going to be an informative video for you. I'm putting together some videos for Julia and I've developed a healthy workflow in terms of the audio. So I figured I'd just share this current workflow with you and I'm going to show you how I get rid of some reverb, how I get rid of the noise stamps and also I'm going to show you how easy it is to integrate Adobe Audition with your Premiere Pro workflow and at no virtually no extra cost to you. It's super simple. So let's just get into it. For your reference, this is a relatively small room. It's somewhat sound treated. There's carpet on the floor, there's stuff on the walls, but there is still reverb and the mic isn't great. So there is a bit of a noise hiss that you can hear at the, in the background when you really listen in. Hello. The first thing I do before I do anything else and before I start cutting is I open this up in Audition. And if you start cutting them up beforehand, you won't be able to edit the entire track as a single clip. So just keep it whole, edit in Adobe Audition. Just for your reference, you've got two views that you can have here. I've got this one here, the spectral frequency display, which I'm going to be using, and then the spectral pitch, which is this one there. But I'm not going to use that for now. So go to spectral frequency. I'll just drag this here so you can really zoom into that stamp there. Hello. Don't confuse this over here with noise, which is just the shuffling of Julia and this over here, which is probably her taking a breath or knocking something on the floor or something. So it's her taking a breath. So the first thing you want to do is take a print of what Audition needs to identify as noise. And if you look at this over here, you'll see it in the background everywhere. So just Click and drag. Make sure not to get this over here and this over here because that's not actually noise. It's an actual sound that Julia has made. There we go. So we've identified this as noise. Go to effects, noise reduction, and capture noise print. You'll get this notification telling you that this is going to be considered the noise print. Okay. Now control D to deselect what you've got here and then go to effects noise reduction and noise reduction process and let's hear it again hello my name is julia and this is fix my finances hello hello i'm not wearing headphones right now so i can't hear exactly how much of the noise is removed but just straight off the bat with raw ear to computer hearing it seems pretty good with the default but you can adjust it in these settings here the noise reduction and reduce by you can play with that a bit and you can also take this notch over here and drag it up to remove more noise but like i mentioned i think this is pretty good so i'm going to take it back to where it was hello my name is Jude. i think that's pretty all right for now apply let that go Right, let's fix the reverb now. Reverb is essentially just an echoey feel that you get. You can hear it in a semi-hollow room or it sounds like you're in a hall or something big and I guess echoey. Now for this part of the process, I like to push play as I'm adding the correction so I can hear instantly the before and after. So I'm just going to do that. So what I'm going to do is after I've pushed play, I'm going to go to effects, noise reduction and restoration, and then I'm going to go to de-reverb. Let's do that. So play. Hello, my name is Julia and this is Fix My Finances. In today's video, we will touch on 10 simple steps that you can take to boost and improve your credit score today. As you may know from previous videos, I'm pretty happy with that. Those are the two very basic straight of the bat corrections that I've done. I'm just going to push Ctrl S to save it. Check what happens when I reopen Premiere Pro. Watch the audio track. Boop. Replaced. Hello. Hello. My name is Julia. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, there are a bunch of tutorials out there that recommend that you click on the audio track, go to audio, and you can start playing with this over here. Say it's a dialogue and vocal presence and whatnot. But I prefer just working on the entire track rather than working on little clips within the track. So I'm going to clear the audio type. And this is how I sort out my audio. Mm. I, I got to get this. Where were we? I like to apply my audio corrections to the entire track. So 
Over here, you'll find your track mixer over here. And some of the more regular corrections that I add involve amplify. Double click on that and then you can amplify, essentially raise the volume of the entire track. So for example, three decibel. Hello. Another fault I sometimes add is the parametric equalizer. And usually what I do with this is I take off the lower end. My name is Julia and this is Fix My Finances. In today's video, we will touch on 10 simple steps that you can take to boost and improve your credit score today. As you may know from previous videos, the better your credit score, the more like- I'm not sure I actually like that on this particular clip. It sounds almost tinny afterwards. Let's take that away. Likely you are to be accepted for credits and the better the interest rates you will get. Clearly, it's- all right, so the high pass filter, in my opinion, is not working for this particular track. So I'm just going to leave it with those original corrections that I made. And that's pretty much how I sort out my audio. I open up an audition, do some cleaning, and then add some very minor changes to the entire track as opposed to little clips within the track. And that's pretty much the first thing I do before I do anything else. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, feel free to give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Boop. I forgot to mention the most important points of them all. The more effort you put into treating your room or treating the environment before you even hit record, the less of an effort you're gonna have to make into fixing your audio in post. So always keep that in mind before you do anything else. You can go now.